Some people call me the lady who blows things up. Well, I try to be the lady who doesn't blow things up. The DHS Center of Excellence is co-housed here uh, because we have a group of folks who study various issues in Homeland Security. Take the swab, swab a countertop or a door handle or some surface that may have been touched by somebody working with explosives and then hold it up to the tip. It's got some, some pretty lights that let you know what you've detected or if you've detected any kind of explosive substance. So we took the uh, equipment down to the Block Island Ferry and screened cars getting on board as both a service to the ferry service and as a test of our equipment. And everything went very smooth. We didn't find any explosives. We didn't intend to find any explosives. The idea was that we just wanted to see how these instruments would, would, would work out in the field. We do have quite a few uh, outside contractors. We bring them into the lab and then we have to, we have to kind of move stuff around to make space for them. We make an explosives detector and we've been working with Dr. Oxley. We chose the University of Rhode Island because of the expertise that exists here in the areas of explosives. If I wanted to see if there was any explosive residue on this notebook, I would swipe this card and then this card is inserted into our device and then it checks to see if there's explosives present or not. So in this case, was this TNT? Yes, yes it okay. was. So in about eight seconds, the device came up and detected Group 1 explosive detected TNT. This is a growing threat to all of our safeties. Dr. Oxley can both test and certify these types of devices for the, the industry in general. Provides an opportunity certainly for the business growth, but also the opportunity for the University of Rhode Island to directly contribute to saving lives.